Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now I'm super excited because I'm joined by the wonderful Trish McAvoy for my first ever episode of Confidence Conversations. Trish, thank you so much for joining me today. A pleasure. What I, an absolute joy it is for me to meet you. So the thing is with this, this YouTube channel that I've come up with, this, this idea is all about, I think as a makeup artist, you have people sitting in your chair and they give you all their insecurities. And I was like, oh, I really want to be able to help these women feel good about themselves. And I was talking to people, and then all of a sudden I came across your amazing book, which basically does exactly what we're talking about today. What was it that inspired you, or kind of did one person's story just go, oh my god, okay, I'm going to put it all in a book, and then it's there for everyone to see. Well, I mean, it's just brilliant. I am such a big believer in feeling good about yourself, yeah. and I wrote my first book called The Power of Makeup, yeah. and again, it was a very simple how-to book. This, too, is a simple how-to book, yeah. but what this is about is taking the time, right? taking the yes. time to put your makeup on, yeah. and as you put your makeup on, the endorphins start, yeah. and as the endorphins start, you're feeling better and better. And I really believe that confidence comes from the inside out, yeah. but also from the outside in. And the other thing that I find, I don't know as a makeup artist, like I feel it's like I've kind of been given a gift to make women feel amazing and beautiful and I really want to share that and I, it really upsets me when you do get people sitting in your chair and they're so down about themselves or they have an issue like depression or they've just lost someone or they're going through a divorce or there's all these different insecurities that women carry every day no matter what age they are as well and then to just suddenly go do you know what let's I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on you or I'm going to just kind of just make you feel a little bit better but then there are other people that say were well, you masking it what do you say to women like that? You know, because that's I, one I, thing I, I think was... that for me, yeah, I can only speak for me. No, you yeah, can yeah, speak absolutely, for you. yeah. For people like you and I, yeah, it's magical. Yeah, absolutely. And it's magical because we know the magic of it. Yeah. So many women, they don't know the magic. To me, it's really quite simple. Makeup isn't complicated, and I tell women, experience it. Yeah. Take a few minutes with it. See yeah. how you feel. Well, that's the one thing that I really love is the fact that you say to every woman and the amount of people that go, I don't have time, I've got four children, I've got, you know, a husband that needs rushing around and I've got to go and do this, you know, it's all constantly on the go. And the one thing I really love that you say is just take that time, look in the mirror and just have that few moments to yourself. You know, you owe it to yourself I tell to you just something funny. give yourself that gift. I then have women that say, well, I don't have that time. So what I do you then say, say so? I'm going to give you a few products, put it on without a mirror. Triangle of light, you put it on, you press, you go yeah. over your eyelid, you can do that without a mirror. Yeah. The key is go with sheer, go with light, yeah. and know how to do it. Okay. Well, this is a really good look. Look at how she's doing it, right? And now right. go triangle down. down to your nose. Uh huh, look at those how, dots. Very how far good am I to going? your nose. You're doing good. Now take your wing finger. This is when I. Uh huh. That's Ooh. not your wing finger. Okay, no, that's a good point. There you go. That's my. Let's, that's let's, the swearing finger. Look. Don't do that. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. If you do this at home, the this kids are good. screaming. Oh, wait till you see how you look. This is more than good. Anyone it can do this. It feels really nice as well. And there it that's is. That's what's nice about it. Can we show them the before and the after? And I she can't see great so. before. Come Turn on. your head over here before. Do I look amazing? And slowly after. I feel like the I triangle of light. Do you see the difference? Bravo, let's so, do the other side. Can we just talk about, so which one is this of your product? This is the instant eye lift, and as instant you ask me questions, I will have you okay, do good. it on the yeah, other side. Because I can multitask. This talk. is an under eye brightener, uh -huh. and it is also a skincare yes. treatment. Okay. All of you have this talent. Ring finger, very important. Why ring finger less and not? Pressure, why, less pressure, less ah, pressure. Okay, good, good. And look good at how she there. just keeps pressing. She's not rubbing. When you press, yeah. the product goes into yeah. the skin and looks natural. When you sweep across, you remove. Yeah, it's true. And also, you, lots of people are quite aggressive with their eyes. You are so lovely. Is it nice? Is it Absolutely nice? Absolutely lovely. Do refresh? Yes, you do. Good. And that's what it does. It refreshes the eye. Oh, it's the eye of. So Trish's, all Trish's makeup comes in a planner like this. So basically you buy, and the other thing I think is genius, 
as a makeup artist, this is super helpful, is the fact that all her stuff comes in magnetic That's right. um, eyeshadow containers. So you can take whichever eyeshadow you want and make up your own palette. That's and right. again, it all fits into this. So it's like a little book. It just I mean, makes it easy, just, right? Also, when you travel, it's brilliant. And I like everything very simple, very organized. Yeah. So it's all right there in front of you. It's your portable makeup I just vanity. need you to live with okay. me, really. Now, I, the question that gets asked from me, a lot of viewers have asked me, what are your three, you're only allowed three, if you're going on a desert island with your collection, what are you taking? Well, everyone's three is different. I know. My beauty concerns. That's what I want to know what you would take. It would be Base Essential, Instant Eye Lift, and BB. And the reason being, I'm dark on the upper eyelid, yeah. I'm dark underneath, Okay. and I'm a nut for coverage and sun protection. So the BB the island, that's is really my important. sun protection. Yeah. I'm on a desert island. I'm going to need moisture. Yeah. I'm going to want my coverage to last all day. With the BB, you get priming yeah. properties. That's really good. You get everything in one. I've asked people um, on Instagram and on Facebook to write in and ask questions. So I have one from a lady called Nicola Foster. Now she says, what is the best eyeliner and eye makeup when you have droopy eyelids? What would you say? Because I get a lot of that with ladies that have kind of an overhanging lid. What I suggest, what would you suggest? is, and I, I feel strongly about this, okay. is don't think about the droop. Think about what looks good. So I emphasize underneath. Ah. So I good bring call. the attention here versus yeah. on the droop. Yeah. Honey, who cares about the negatives? Look at the positives. So right. Right? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I, I also would say if you're going to do something like, because again, they go, oh, well, I can't wear a smoky eye because I've but got... But they can because they they're 24 can. hour pens that are available exactly. today. You take a little bit, yeah. place it on the ball of the eye, work yeah. it up, and it totally shadows that it bit. really does and also just take it a little bit Kyle, above yes, a little Kyle, bit above the natural right. line which i think looks that's really nice right. so Absolutely. either way if you don't want to wear too much then you can go underneath if you yep. want to go gold go, go a little bit higher yep. so it works Kyle beautifully low. so there you go nicola hopefully that's asked your question so i've got another uh, question from ellie eggleston gibbs can we just appreciate that name i love that that's name. amazing Ooh, name. so elegant so she says that basically she has very oily, but at the same time very dry skin, and she's tried a few different foundations and BB creams, but she still feels that her skin looks dry, but also sometimes oily if she just uses BB creams. So what would you suggest? The key is, one, to exfoliate. Yeah, Very, correct. very, very I agree. important. Yeah. But two, yeah. test the BBs out there, Yeah. and a good BB will moisturize where you are dry yeah and oil absorb where you are oily yeah. and also an SPF think, oh and yeah, has an SPF which That's is right. really important but I, I think absolutely like the amount of women that come to me and I'm like you need to sort your skincare out first before right. I can even start with your Absolutely. foundation. It's Absolutely. so important. Exfoliation. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Well, we've covered the dark circles. That one's from Sally Hodg Hodgkinson. I can't ever say what names, Hodgkinson. by the way. What a wonderful I know. Name. What a brilliant name. Um, but she says, "What's the best for covering dark circles?" And you'd say your triangle of light. Yes. Yes. So check that out because that's brilliant. Um, and the other one was, I'm very blonde. This is from Louise Montague. These people are, they can't be your real names. These are far too snazzy. She says I'm very pale and blonde, but I really want to wear red lipstick. What would you recommend? Now I've got tips on pe for people when they say that to me, because I always think the amount of people that go, right, I'm gonna wear red lipstick today. They go into a super drug or wherever, super, like a drugstore or wherever, they grab a lipstick, the brightest one they can find, and they just put it on and go, oh no, that's way too scary. And then they never touch it again. Don't do that. Why would you Absolutely. do that? Absolutely. That's like saying So what would you say? I would say find something that's moisturizing, so something quite light. And that means more forgiving. Yeah. So I'll jump in yeah. with you. Yeah. So the reason you said that yeah. is because the more opaque you go, the more you can make a mistake. The more moist you go, as exactly. you just said. Yeah the more forgiving it is. And also then you build it. If then you go, okay, you I feel a bit more confidence. You get to do it like, yeah. then you go mid-level, and yeah. then you go full coverage. It's a bit like swimming. If you can't swim, don't jump straight into the deep end. Let's That's just right. paddle a little totally bit, right. get excited, hold on to the wall, and then mm -hmm. go into the exactly. deep end. Yeah. Oh. I love meeting women that have big dreams and make yeah. their dreams come true. Yeah, I And agree. to think that, you know, here you are in your early 30s, 
Thank you. And you have your own channel. You're also on television all the time. You're behind the scenes, in front of the camera. Um, you never stop pushing yourself. Yeah. And that gives you confidence. You know, pushing yourself, making yourself feel you're accomplishing something every day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and makeup is wonderful. Yeah. And doing something every day that makes you feel good. Yeah. Is so important. That is a hundred percent true. And I couldn't have wrapped this up any better myself. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so oh, it's a much. Pleasure. Literally. A pleasure. It's been a dream. I hope I didn't just I like to do a Portuguese way of kissing on both cheeks. Oh, I love that too. Oh.